Never mind. How was the country club? It was a golf club and it was full of wankers. But beautiful scenery, yes. It looked amazing on the website. I'm sorry, Libby, it's not going to work. Why? Because it's full of... <laughs> wankers? That doesn't matter. No, because it's already booked. That wasn't the case this morning. Yeah, well, you have to move fast, apparently. Oh, damn, I really had my hopes pinned on it. Um, hello, what about me? I made the whole trip out there for nothing, and now I am going home to bed. The UK do it, the USA, several states in Australia. I say we are way behind. But there are so few cases here, maximum 18, more likely to be three or four. But that's three or four babies we can protect, darling. I have a question. Mm. Antenatal HIV screening escapes a category of shop talk, how? Uh, yes. She started it. Oh, <laughs> no, you're completely obsessed. Face it, we're all beyond help. It's an occupational hazard. Case in point, that time dinner at Craig's descended into guess the medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy doctors and their wacky fun. <laughs> From this point on, we are not doctors, we are not nurses. We are ordinary people who actually have lives. Uh, exceptionally bad timing, I believe. Dinner and a show. It's a bonus. <laughs> and there's the culprit. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, you're going to be right as soon as you get your breath back. But you might want to finish your dinner. Looking a bit pale there. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, yeah, you need to lie down. Is there pain anywhere else? Yeah, in my back. My back. My back. That's what's on his abdomen. Call an ambulance. Are you with a can, you're Yeah, my bet. I'll go in the van with him. We'll both go. Are you going to scrub in or am I on my own? Yeah, of course. Sorry, I am. Uh... You're almost there. Time was that on me now. And then there were two. Hey, did you follow up on Mrs. Jameson? CT was clear. Oh, good. Hey, I heard her daughter was... Hey, I was talking to you. What is your problem? I thought we were friends. Exactly. You, you made all these big plans, you handed in your resignation, you organised a reference without a word to me. I didn't discuss it with anyone. And why is that? Because it's no one's business but mine. You kept it this big secret because you know that what you're doing is cowardly. Sorry? You can go to the other side of the city or the other side of the world, but you're still going to be you. You leave your mess here and you create another one somewhere else until you have the guts to stay and clean up after yourself, to stay and face the music. I'm sorry I didn't call, but we were oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't breathe. I love you, Maya. I really do. <laughs> you better take these two as well. I doubt whether we'll see Hawkeye and Hot Lips anytime soon. <laughs> so, dessert? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's only fair. They're across the road having a high old time. An aortic aneurysm? It's not my idea of fun. <laughs> but everything my wife lives and breathes for. Bossing nurses around inside some poor sods in it. She can't bear to be left out. Whereas Chris will be more upset at missing out on this peanut. Oh, sure he will. <laughs> so, let's have it. Huh? Your life story with all the juicy, salacious bits left in. Um... <laughs> Oh, come on, you haven't always been the lonely wife of a surgeon, having to watch the end of movies by yourself, grabbing the bill at dinner when he's paged off somewhere. How did you get where you are today, Mrs. Warner? <laughs> and then he just ran off with her in his arms. It was like a scene out of a movie. <laughs> Super doctor to the rescue. Mm -hmm. Don't tell my dad that, he thinks that's his job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we better get going. Have a fun party. See ya. See, See you later. Bye. Sounds like they were lucky to have you and Mark there. Mark is such a good doctor, and he was so good with the little girl. She was really scared. All right, already I get the point. Mark's good with children. I wasn't trying to drop a hint. Honey, yes, you were. You haven't stopped talking about Mark since we got home. Well, I think that's understandable, considering we were just basically... Well, gonna... just shut up. Four or five seconds, please. I'm trying to have a moment here. Sorry? 
I love you and I trust you with all my heart. Maya, I will do anything for you. Anything. What are you saying? That if you want Mark to be our donor, then so do I. So let's ask him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>